Yo, 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 what is going on guys and welcome back to another FIFA 21 squad builder on the channel. You guys probably clicked on this video to find out what is the best 300k team right now in FIFA 21 that can improve my foot champions performance. Well guys, this is the right video for you because I'm about to show you the best possible 300k team that you guys can get right now. Honestly, this team will destroy your opponents in foot champions and in division rivals and it will also increase your skill rating too. Honestly, this team is crazy, but before I go ahead and dive into this incredible squad builder, I got a quick little message for you guys. So let me get straight into it. If you guys want me to build you your own personal squad builder, all you guys have to do is simply follow a few quick and easy steps. All you guys have to simply do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. All right, and once you guys have done that, take a picture, screenshot that, head over to my Instagram, follow my Instagram, and then DM me that screenshot of you following the steps. And once you guys have done that, I will then build build your squad it's literally that simple and then you can end up like these guys So it's literally that simple ladies and gentlemen so make sure you guys go ahead and follow the steps if you want me to build your own personal squad but with that being said enough of the chit chat let's waste no more time and get straight into the squad builder baby let's get it let's go okay guys so as you can see on your screens right now for this incredible 300k hybrid squad builder the formation that you guys want to use is the 4-3-2-1 formation but that's only to get everyone on um chemistry all right that's to get full chemistry on the side but with that being said i will show you guys what formation to switch to in game um at the end of the video once i've actually shown you the team first but with that being said let's waste no more time and let's get straight into the squad builder so in this striker position we do have my favorite striker in the game right now that i've that i've used um, yeah, he goes by the name of Wissam Ben Yedda. He's absolutely incredible. Honestly, I love this guy. He's just he, he's just so good. I, I don't know what to say apart from the fact that he's so good. Left foot, right foot, he shoots, he scores. It's that simple. He's got the skill moves, he's got the pace, he's got the agility, he's got everything. As you guys can see, this is a player which I've used pretty much since like I've since I've got enough money to actually afford him. I bought him, used him, and he's just been absolutely incredible for me. As you can see, I've played 91 games with him, scored 111 goals, and got 30 six assists and this is mainly from div one and foot champions as well absolutely crazy stuff man but yeah this guy is just such a beast so just make sure you guys go ahead and get him man as you can see he's so clinical his attacking positioning is brilliant his agility is crazy his ball control dribbling and uh, composure is just top tier man so just make sure you guys get ben Yedda. and to be honest most of you guys probably know that wissam ben Yedda is absolutely insane in this game anyway so moving on um in towards the left forward spot we do have yet another frenchman and he is absolutely incredible man he goes by the name of Usman Dembele and this is again another player that I've got in my current foot champion side another player that I love and I actually don't play him out wide and again I'm going to tell you guys where to play him but I play him cam and that's what I'm going to tell you guys to play him as well but um yeah he does so well for me in the cam spot again that five star five star is just so crucial crucial it really is man as you can see five star skill means five star weak foot it just makes him so unpredictable and it means that it's just so hard to defend against as you can see for me he's played 45 games got 38 goals and 20 assists man i absolutely love this guy again one of my favorite players in fifa 21 right now as you can see he's pacey with 92 sprint speed and 93 acceleration he's got 75 finishing but in game again his finishing feels a lot better than 75 his agility is again amazing with 89 a for ball control as well and 89 dribbling but guys make sure you guys go ahead and get them belly this card man is absolutely in the same but with that being said in the right forward spot we actually do have a left winger now i i don't really do this much like in my squad builders i never met i never tell you guys to use uh players on seven chem but I think it, it, it's just worth it. So I'm just going to have to do it, man. We do have St. Maxim in here. There aren't many great right wingers this year in FIFA, in my opinion. And I think um, a lot of people do like use left wingers in the right winger spot and just play them off chem on, on seven chem. But honestly, guys, it's worth it. So buy St. Maximin as a left forward, play him right forward. And then, yeah, just use him on seven chem. This guy's absolutely insane. This is what I do again. St. Maximin, he's in my current team. It's the same thing that I do. I play him on seven chem. I play him on the right and he just works so well there. I love him. 
I just don't have any plans to get rid of this guy because he's so overpowered. As you guys can see, he's got 91 games played for me, 90 goals and 30 assists. Yes, he's only his record isn't great at all by no means, but when you play a 4-2-3-1 formation and when you play uh, like your wide plays, they don't really get many goals and assists. They're, they're always involved, but they never really get the goal or the assist that much. But again, if it's working, just keep with it. Um, but yeah, sit maximum man, very, very overpowered. Again, only use him in Div 1 and Foot Champions. I think he's absolutely amazing. As you can see, he's got five-star skill moves and four-star weak foot. He just creates so much. He's got the pace about him. His agility is insane. His dribbling, composure, and ball control is, again, top-notch. Um, yes, his finishing stat only says 67. But again, I'll be honest, his finishing in-game feels a lot better than the stat does suggest. So, yeah, I just really recommend you guys go ahead and get him in. Again, man, he he's just a fantastic player. And this trio here is, is, is just crazy. It really is. But moving on in towards the midfield, we go um, in the central center mid spot. We do have Musa Sissou. Man, Musa Sissoko, he is absolutely insane, man. I just, ah, oh, this guy, Musa Sissoko, absolutely incredible, man. Just a, a beast of a player. He really is such a good, overpowered, powerful midfielder. Good at defending, man. He's just gonna, he's got the pace about him as well, which is what I love. He's so quick across the midfield. He's so strong, aggressive, amazing uh, tackling attributes as well. He's just a fantastic CDM. So I really do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up Musa Sissoko because he will do a fantastic job in that CDM position. But with that being said, we're going to move on in towards the left centre mid spot. And again, we do have another pacey midfielder, another overpowered midfielder. He goes by the name of Marcus Lorente. This guy, man, is just different gravy. Honestly, if you guys... Um, have this scrim card then obviously go ahead and use him um, but yeah his normal goal card man is just ridiculous still is just very very overpowered man as you guys can see he's got 88 sprint speed 80 standing tackle 74 slide tackle 79 defensive awareness 81 strength 83 aggression 74 finishing 75 shot power he's a very very good well-rounded card and that is what I love most about Marcus uh, Lorente good in offense good in defense you just simply cannot go wrong with this kind of card man so just make sure you guys go ahead and get him high high work rates quite towards as well just genuinely a fantastic player so make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up but with that being said ladies and gentlemen moving on in towards the central sentiment spot we actually do have a striker now you want to convert him okay you want to convert him to a cam or center mid so he does get full chemistry all right so make sure you guys do go ahead and do that because i know people are going to complain and say why isn't the squad 100 chemistry just make sure that you guys buy the plays in their positions and obviously saint maximum as a left forward and then obviously you're, you're going to have to use a manager because you can't start a game in in fifa without using a manager so you will get full chemistry all right so don't be telling me in the comment section below why is it not why is no one on full chemistry all right make sure you just buy the plays in their correct positions all right so make sure you get Rodrigo as a centre mid but with that being said Rodrigo man a fantastic card very cheap but very very sweaty and very overpowered 90 acceleration and 91 sprint speed as you guys can see there he's got 80 finishing but to be honest in game his finishing is a lot better than 80 in my opinion um I think he's very very clinical and that is why I do like him a lot um but yeah again when, when I show you guys what formation to switch to in game he's not going to be playing striker he's not going to be he's not going to be playing cam he's actually going to be playing out wide and it is going to work I'm telling you you guys you just gotta listen to me because i'm telling you it's gonna work but um yeah let's go ahead and let's move on in towards the defense so we're gonna start off with the two fullback spots we're gonna start off with the right back position and we do have another spanish player another spanish premier league player and he goes by the name of hector bellerin i, I thought i put a b there but it was actually d um yeah so we do have hector bellerin in the right back spot um again another cheap player but another fantastic player he's got the pace about him he's got the defensive attributes about him yes he's not the strongest defender but still he is a very very overpowered as you guys can see there 87 acceleration 87 sprint speed and um decent defending stats you know he's your typical cheap sweaty pasty defender he will get you the job done so make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Hector Bellerin but we move boys and girls in towards the left back position we go um we do have Renan Lodi again another cheap fantastic fullback in my opinion um I just think he gets the job done and that is why I do go for him you know um to be fair you can use guy you can use Berishise Berishise however you pronounce that name I'm not too sure you can use literally any um well not any La Liga but it has to be Spanish or from Atletico so any Spanish left back um or any um Atletico left back you can go ahead and use them if you prefer Gaia if you prefer Yuri Berishise then you can go ahead and use them instead but for me my personal preference is Renan Lodi and that is why I'm going to recommend him to you guys so yeah he gets the job done man fantastic player very cheap very overpowered good defensively got a little bit of pace about him as well would recommend 
hoping that you get him with a shadow as well just to boost that pace up a little bit but yeah fantastic player make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up but moving on in towards the defense we go in towards the two center back spots um in the left center back position we do have a very very fantastic player an overpower player man he goes by the name of Clome Leng Lo or Long Lei. What, what the hell was my pronunciation that was terrible Clemo Long Lei, a, a fantastic player man a fantastic card in this game in my opinion I really do like him a lot um yeah he's got all the defensive attributes the center back needs he's got that bit of pace about him I just really think that he's such a very very good player man as you can see 87 interceptions 90 defensive awareness that is crucial for things like blocks and interceptions um he's got 86 standing tackle and 81 slide tackle and the 83 strength as well as well as being quite a fast center back 76 acceleration and 72 sprint speed so yeah absolutely fantastic make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up but we move on we move on and in towards the right center back spot we go we actually do have another Barcelona player another Frenchman he goes by the name of Samuel Umtiti and he actually did get a downgrade from last year which is pretty sad he did get a downgrade but I still feel like his card is similar in terms of how it plays to last year I think it's a fantastic card he's not that fast um so I would recommend getting a shadow chemistry start on him. But other than that, man, his defending stats are very, very good. And that is what I do like about Samuel Mditi is that, you know, he, is the fact that he's so strong. He's very, very good at tackling. His defensive awareness is good and his interceptions are good. So again, that is why I do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up Samuel Mditi. But with that being said, to complete this insane 300k foot champion squad builder in the goalkeeper position, we do have Noberto Neto, a very, very overpowered keeper. Uh, just a player that I recommend that you guys go ahead and get. Um, and yeah, I think he gets his job done and I think he'll make you guys a lot of saves But with that being said ladies and gentlemen make sure before I sh before I show you guys What formation now that you guys should use in game and where to put the players make sure you get St. Maximin as a left forward All right, make sure you get Rodrigo as a center mid so they get full chemistry Obviously St. Maximin will be on seven chem, but guys I'm telling you it's worth it I already told you guys I do it myself So I just we're gonna recommend that you guys do it too because it works for me and I just recommend it to you guys But let me show you guys how you should look in what, what the team should look like in game so you want to use the 4 2 3 1 formation okay and in this formation you're going to want to put um saint maximin on the left or right totally up to you um again it depends where you want to use rodrigo would you rather use rodrigo on the right or left totally up to you um but yeah rodrigo on the right hand side because you know you can cut in and shoot on his left foot same goes for saint maximin so saint maximin on the left rodrigo on the right uh, Usman Dembele Cam, Ben Yedder, Striker, all right? That's how you want to set up that attacking lineup, all right? It works so well. I play Ben Yedder, Cam, uh, Striker, and I play Usman Dembele Cam. It works like a charm. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that too. Same maximum on the left, and then Rodrigo on the right. And then, of course, Lorente and Sissoko is a two CDM. So, guys, that is how you guys want to set up in game, all right? Make sure you guys do it. It works like a charm. But let me know what you think of this 300k team. Let me know down in the comment section below, man. Give it a rating out of 10 as well. In my opinion, it's a fantastic 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 team but with that being said ladies and gentlemen i hope you guys did enjoy the video and you know what just in case you guys think i'm lying to you guys and i don't actually use um say maximum and certain players off chem i do it myself too this is my current squad um i've made a video on my current squad and i've released some highlights with it as well um so yeah if you guys want to see highlights of it i'll leave a link to that down below in the description but this is the current team i have right now and again um yeah i love it man i use vinicius jr as well off chem he's fantastic i love him i use say maximum on seven chem as well he's fantastic i love him but anyways guys I hope you did enjoy the video, man. I really did. Make sure to smash the like button of this video. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Also, subscribe and turn on post notifications, all right? So you never miss an upload. But with that being said, it's been your boy RB Plays, and I'll catch you in the next one.